This is video number five of the Theory of the Firm series, and it's actually part two of the short run costs of production. There have been uh, four previous videos in this Theory of the Firm series, and um, I've just uploaded part one of short run costs. Now remember, this is in IB Economics high level only. So the first thing I'm going to do in this video is distinguish between total costs, average costs, and marginal costs. Before I go on to define and show examples, I'm going to actually give you a very simple example. In part one of the short run costs of production uh, mini series, I introduced the idea of fixed costs, variable costs, and total costs. So assume there's a firm that makes Barbie dolls, and they have um, made uh, 100 Barbie dolls. Those 100 Barbie dolls cost them, fixed costs were $100, um, and that's uh, rent for the um, piece of land or the factory and insurance and the variable costs were four hundred dollars um, that includes the wages raw materials the energy and the power now the total cost here is pretty simple total cost is pretty much uh, fixed cost plus variable cost which is one hundred plus four hundred dollars which would give us a total cost of five oh sorry about that a total cost of five hundred dollars now average cost is the cost per unit so if it if it cost a total of five hundred dollars to make one hundred Barbie dolls this means that the average cost would be five hundred dollars which is the total divided by the number of Barbie dolls produced so here the average cost would be five dollars this means that each Barbie doll cost this firm an average of five dollars now if the firm wants to make a profit obviously it would set a price and sell each Barbie doll for higher than five dollars and that would be how it would make a profit now that leaves one last concept we need to introduce which is the concept of marginal cost now let's assume the firm decided to produce an extra Barbie doll so now the output output has gone up from 100 Barbie dolls to 101 Barbie dolls uh, now obviously because fixed costs are fixed the fixed costs won't change but the firm would have to get more raw materials and possibly pay more wages so let's assume the variable costs here increased from four hundred dollars when the firm used to produce a hundred Barbie dolls to four hundred and four dollars now marginal cost is the extra cost incurred to produce that one last unit of output so how do you calculate marginal cost well basically you just see when I produced that last unit of output by how much did my costs increase here you can see that the marginal cost was of the last Barbie doll the marginal cost of the hundred and first Barbie doll was four dollars because when you produced a hundred Barbie dolls your variable cost was four hundred when you produced an extra Barbie doll, the 101st Barbie doll, your variable costs rose to 404. So that last Barbie doll that you produced cost you $4. And this is the concept of marginal cost. So let's quickly define the three concepts. So we said that total cost refers to all the costs incurred in producing all output remember total costs equal fixed costs plus variable costs this brings us to the second concept the concept of average costs average costs are the costs incurred per unit of output they are calculated by defining total sorry by dividing total costs by output you have three types of average costs you have average fixed costs which are total fixed costs divided by output 
you have average variable costs, which are total variable costs divided by output, and you have average total costs, which are total costs divided by output. And this brings us to the last concept, which is the concept of marginal costs. Marginal costs are the extra costs incurred to produce an extra unit of output. Basically, you take the new total costs minus the old or the previous total costs and you divide it by the difference between the new output and the old output. Marginal cost is the cost of that last unit that you just produced. Just a quick refresher, we said that average costs are the costs incurred per unit of output and we said that there are three types. Average fixed cost, which is the fixed cost per unit, average variable cost, the variable cost per unit, and average total cost, which is the total cost per unit, and this is calculated by adding average fixed cost and average variable cost. Now you should be able to calculate each of these from a set of data that is given to you. Uh, say for example, in this um, example, you have been given output, you have been given fixed costs and variable costs. Remember, total costs are the sum of fixed and variable costs. So when output was zero, for example, fixed cost was $30, variable costs were zero, so total costs were 30. When output was 800, fixed costs were 30, fixed costs don't change. Variable costs were 165, 30 plus 165 gives us a total cost of 195. So total cost is pretty simple and easy to calculate. We said that average fixed cost is the fixed cost divided by quantity. So basically to calculate average fixed cost, all you need is the output and the fixed cost. And you just divide fixed cost by the output. So when you were producing 30, sorry, when you were producing 100 units, your fixed costs were $30. So 30 divided by 100 gives you an average fixed cost of 0 0.3. When you were producing 900 units, your fixed costs were still $30. So 30 divided by 900 gives you an average fixed cost of 0 0.033. Now, because fixed costs are fixed, the more you produce, your average fixed cost will keep falling. So average fixed cost is always falling. And this is because fixed costs are fixed. And as you produce more, you are spreading those fixed costs over a larger quantity of output. Now, average variable cost. In order to calculate average variable cost, you will need um, your variable costs, which will often be given, as well as the output. And you just divide variable cost by output. So, when output was 100 units, your variable costs were 30. 30 divided by 100 gives you a variable cost of 0. Point, average variable cost of 0. 0.300. When your output was 500 units, your variable costs were 75. So 75 divided by 500 will give you an average variable cost of 0 0.150. Now you will notice that ver average variable costs at the beginning, they will fall until they reach a minimum point and then they will rise and we will explain why average variable cost looks like this in a minute. This brings us to the concept of average total cost which is the sum basically you add average variable cost um, and average fixed cost or you can just take the total costs and divide them by the quantity or the output. So when the output was 300 units, your total cost were 90. So 90 divided by 300 gives you an average total cost of 0 0.3. When your output doubled to 1000 units, your total costs were 305. So 305 divided by 1000 gives you an average total cost of 0 0.305. Average total cost 
looks the same when you draw it on a diagram it looks the same as the average variable cost at first it's decreasing reaches a minimum and then starts to increase again and this brings us to our last equation or formula which is the equation used to calculate marginal cost basically marginal cost is calculated by looking at the change in total cost and dividing it by the change in quantity because fixed costs don't change, you can also calculate marginal cost by looking at the change in variable cost and dividing it by the change in quantity. So, let's have a look. When you were producing 100 units, your variable costs were $30. When you produced 200 units, your variable costs were 50 So, what you need to do to get marginal cost is, you need to take a look. What's your new variable cost it's 50 what was your old variable cost 30 now let's divide that by your new output 200 minus your old output which is 100 this is the marginal cost calculation between those two um, sets of data let's have a look so 50 minus 30 is 20 20 divided by 200 minus 100 is 100 and this gives you a marginal cost of 0.2 which is this point that was being calculated here okay uh, you can do the same calculation by looking at the total costs and how they change it's the same equation it doesn't matter so just a quick refresher we mentioned earlier that because fixed costs are fixed the more you produce, the more you'll spread those fixed costs on a larger amount of output. So, average fixed costs are always decreasing. And this is what an average fixed cost curve would look like. The more you are producing, the, uh, uh, the average fixed costs are decreasing. This is what the average fixed cost curve would look like. Now, what about the average variable cost, the average total cost, and the marginal cost? Average variable cost here is the blue curve that you see here. Um, as I mentioned earlier, average variable cost is usually decreasing at the beginning until it reaches a minimum, and then it starts to increase. Average total cost here is the curve that is plotted in green. That's the average total cost. Again, it looks quite similar to the average variable cost. At first, it's decreasing, reaches a minimum point, and it starts to increase. The vertical distance between these two curves, the average total cost and the average variable cost, is the average fixed cost. And this is why the distance between them is always decreasing. Now, marginal cost is that curve here in grey. Marginal cost looks a lot like a tick. At first it is decreasing and then it starts to increase. Now we're going to talk about the relationship between those th three curves in a following video. So just a quick reminder, those three curves um, are a relationship between costs on the vertical axis and output on the horizontal axis axis and again this is what they would look like if they were actually drawn neatly so marginal cost remember it looks like a tick average total cost is the one in green average variable cost is the one in blue and the vertical distance between average total cost and average variable cost gives us the average fixed cost